Hey, happy Friday and welcome back to the Friday Funnies. We have entered the dog days of summer. The dog days are so named because when it gets hot out, the best thing to cook is hot dogs. Hot dogs, or wieners if you prefer, are the perfect food for cooking outside so as not to heat up your kitchen. And hot dogs can be served in a variety of ways. They can be plain, loaded, chili topped. There's actually a perfect dog for every taste. How do you like yours? I like mine with beer. And today is Friday the 13th, the periodical time of bad luck. Do not walk under any ladders today. And if you are an older watcher, stay away from ladders all the time, okay? Black cats are also considered bad luck today, but cat fanciers object to their pets being looked upon as evil and are marching today in front of the pet depot with signs reading, Black Cats Matter. And Florida this week earned the distinction of being America's Petri dish. Their high COVID-19 positivity rate combined with their refusal to wear masks make them perfect germ labs. I suggest we put a giant bell jar over the entire state and just let them go. Well, the jar of the Friday Funnies is open and ready for you to spread around. Julie McCann is a 38-year-old woman from British Columbia, Canada. She set an unofficial world record in an unofficial sport by running 100 meters on all fours. Like a horse, she runs on all fours. And if you can't really picture that, there's a video of her online and it's quite a sight. Now, when she was a little girl, she dreamed of being a horse. So she started running like one. She practiced through the years and wanted to beat the existing record for all fours running held by Kenichi Ito of Japan, who galloped 100 meters in 15.71 seconds. Julie didn't break Kenichi's record, but ran the distance in 22.29 seconds and set the record for women. Her next goal is to see how fast her dog can run on two legs. An unnamed man in Yakima, Washington is a runaway for this week's award. As he was putting soda cans in his refrigerator, one of them exploded and he thought someone was shooting at him. So he pulled his gun from the waistband and fired several shots into the fridge. Now these shots were heard by neighbors and the police were called. They found the man in the alley outside his home with the gun on the ground and he was yelling incoherently. The man told the police that the people who live in the basement of his house wanted to kill him. So when they fired, he shot back. The only problem is that the police found no people. They also found no basement. The man, the man was arrested and charged with an armed attack on Enamana. And he also earned our title of Dumbass of the Week. The governor of Utah received a letter from a very concerned citizen that demanded he change his name because it is, and I quote, foul, dirty, and obscene, end quote. The governor's name is Spencer Cox. And personally, I see nothing wrong with the name Spencer. He was told that he would be recalled by the people of Utah if he didn't change his filthy, heinous surname. So at first, the governor said he's not going to change his name, but after repeated harassment, he caved into the pressure and changed his name to the hyphenated Cox Ucker in recognition of his critics. <laughs> hey, my friends, that's it for this week. Please pass this along to all of your friends. Leave us a like, share us, and uh, let's get more people watching the Friday Funnies. Until then, I will see you next Friday. <laughs>